Hi guys, uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, this is Venkat. Today the plan is like this, like we are planning to install the secondary site server under SSCM primary site. See, let me introduce the environment, current environment in our lab. As you see, we have only two virtual machines, one is domain controller and another one is SSCM primary server. Let's go to SSCM primary server again just to confirm that what are the site servers are installed see here only one primary site server and it is installed with the, the required roles now the plan like this like we need to create the secondary site server okay to create the secondary site server at least we need to make sure that one window server is ready right to create the secondary site server, at least uh, we need to maintain Windows Server 2012, but the preferable is 2016, as the latest Windows site server, Windows Server 2019 is available in market. Okay, let's go. Uh, since I have the 2016, let's go with the 2016 server. Let me show you how to create the Windows Server 2016. Microsoft Windows. Windows 2016. Okay, actually, I'm using Oracle Virtual Box, which is very free and easy for me. It's really easy to operate, so I'm using this as a CM, CM secondary set server. SM secondary set. Okay, that's it. Okay. Let me give minimum 8 GB so it will be a bit fast to install the voice. That's it. Okay, and give me. Yeah, this is second set server, so uh, I don't think that 100 GB is enough because we are not doing anything, we are just for testing purpose. Just create it, okay? Okay go to the settings advanced just enable this by direction because if I want to copy any other files from the host so I need this to enable if you are disabled this one you are unable to copy any uh, files from your host to come uh, uh, from your host so that's the reason I'm enabling these that's it system everything is okay storage yeah let me add windows 2016 because actually last time i have already used this windows server 2016 to install these two so that is the reason this is quickly appearing here if you have any in another place you need to choose it from your disk okay this one taking 6.49 gb that's fine network yep this is very important point let's go to bridge adapter if you enable this bridge adapter then it will use the same network whatever you're using for your host yes this one is required if you want to use internet services for your server or else no need actually for now I need that bridge network as well as the internal network also let me select that internal yeah internal let me uh, quickly confirm that which one we are using for internal network because I have created on the network here let me check go to settings network see internal okay good so the same network we are using so that means all these three machines will be on the same page yeah and uh, that's all now good to go
now we are installing the Windows Server 2016 for our second set server. Usually I won't change anything. If you want, you can change the location US from India or somewhere. <coughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, here just make sure that uh, which one you are using. If you want uh, GUI or PowerShell, for example, if you are selecting this one, then obviously, see, here you can see it does not include a GUI graphical user interface, it will not, it will not give you. So, since I'm not really that much good in PowerShell, let's go with the GUI. Okay. And I need just a standard version known as data center. Of course, yes, I accept the license. Okay. What is the difference between upgrade and custom? Of course, we all know that, but just uh, recapping it. If you already have Windows Server 2012 or something like that, then you want to upgrade to 2016, then you need to choose this. For now, I don't have anything, so I'm just using custom. I need only one drive, I don't want another two drives or something like that. Let's go with one drive. If you want to create a new drive, you can click it new drive and you can share the uh, size from one of, for example here I allotted 100 gig. So you can share uh, 70 from this and you can make it a C, uh, C drive separate and D drive sep separate. If you want any fancy drives, yes you can, but I mean not really required. So let's go with an other option. Okay, this will take uh, another 10 to 15 minutes. Let it be done fast. Okay, now our second set server OS installation done. Let's keep some default. Okay. Let's set one password. Okay, it will take uh, some time to get refresh and do the adjustments. If you are using same Oracle virtual uh, virtual box, then you need to do one more step. See when you are maximize this, you cannot see uh, uh, the full screen mode. So for this, you need to add on the devices. Just click here, go to devices and click on insert guest editions CD image once you install this then you are able to see the full full screen for the windows server as well Just click here. Okay. Install the add-ons or Oracle VM add-ons. This step only required when you are uh, using Oracle VM box. Just double click on this one, virtual box windows editions. Okay. 
once the installation is done then automatically it will come with full screen now you are able to see that okay let me click on next next install that's all that's it after this then it will be reinstall the server again and then we need to the next steps are like we need, uh, we need to join the domain actually this is our domain controller we need to join the second set server to this domain okay once it is joined to the domain controller then we will proceed to check the prerequisites like uh, install IIS or uh, uh, anything and check that uh, primary server uh, give the primary server admin rights on to the secondary side server we need to check one by one once that is done then we will install the secondary side server from primary side server that is our next steps we will see all that in next video okay yeah click on install here yeah it will take few minutes after that it will automatically get restarted okay okay we will see in next video thank you thanks for watching